can stand with me. Shane. We're going to stand together. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go. I'm Nick. And I'm Ru Jing. Ru Jing. And our robot is called the Party Bot for multiple reasons. Well, the first, because he has cannons, and those are awesome. His cannons make everything better. No, he has two cannons. I forgot. Um, where did I get my idea? Is, well, I decided I want something that will do a purpose, but a purpose that's not hard, like world hunger, because you can't eat robots. So, mine decided to be having to get up to get a drink. It's really annoying to me. So, I just have to do that. This is the purpose. This is a very, very complex. That's, but ours is better. So, it's alright. And our original purpose was to go grab a drink, pour it, and then throw it in a bucket so you could reuse it. And so we learned. I teamed up with Nick to uh, yeah. work on this party bot, and basically I was uh, mainly the software, and Nick mainly worked with the mechanical parts. Mm -hmm. Mainly. So our original design is has three parts on it. Is the back. There is a dumping that actually twips the back, has the one motor arm, and then it has the one motor that moves the entire cart. And basically, uh, we also have uh, we were gonna put a light sensor to de de detect uh, which drink, like where it would stop to get the drink, and it was going to have a touch sensor so you can order the drinks. Here's our first build. Now, as you can tell by that, it needs to be really strong because it's huge. So we tried testing it at first with a calculus book, and it lifted that. It could carry it pretty well, and I think that's before we put all the rubber bands on. And then this was our first chassis. It had an arm that looked like that, and that just turned out to be a grinding thing that I get my finger stuck in all the time. And, well, all we learned was that it is able to carry a claw because it's really strong in the chassis. So... Um, and this, the original claw, really didn't work out well at all, just hurt a lot, and it lasted for like an hour and a half, and then I decided to scrap it and go look for a design online, because the internet helped me. <laughs> and then this is the design we actually ended up with, is called the Snatcher, except for if you like chop off the robot from that and just leave an arm, <coughs> and then move the arm on, or take the arm onto a slab of Lego, you get our robot. And then... We also added a few unnecessary attachments, like uh, we have two cannons. One looks like Justin Bieber. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. And then we put a little Lego soldier up on top. I don't know why. I just thought it would look yeah. cool. Alright, so basically our code was mainly, uh, this is our code, so mainly it was, it was pretty easy to write. It took a long time. It's with, if you were to print it, it would be five pages long, so not a good idea to print. But uh, basically, uh, the first part is actually uh, it involves a GUI input, which is basically uh, the user gets to control, like, input what they want in the drink. And it had, in, in depth, uh, it used button functions and text out. I also had to l use modulus and I used the absolute function so it could work for pressing the left button and the right button and it will scroll over. So the main parts of our code was just working with the weight times and adjusting the pow motor power and, and the angles so it could lift. And most of the logic was just if loops, uh, uh, some while loops and uh, on tail loop. So, obstacles. So, these LEGO NXT parts are made of plastic. And plastic can bend a lot. So, if you notice, our robot is like this kind of, because gravity tends to pull it down, and our pieces just bend. But no, it and works we, out pretty good. And we got time constraints too, so we didn't, weren't able to really fine tune And this it. is me talking about the cans again, because I really like my cans. They're so cool. And then... <laughs> then Alright, so what we want to do uh, if we had more time, well, we wanted, to, we couldn't put a light sensor, first of all, because our sensor ports are kind of blocked off, and also the light <coughs> sensors are a bit fickle, like, 
it changes values every time. So we would love to do that. And so we would like to thank uh, Professor Dedell, uh, Jerry, and Chris for their help in for robotics and teaching us all these stuff. So thanks for listening. <laughs> oh, demo time. Not yet. Wait a minute. Oh. Bring the lights in. Can I shoot my cans first? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I got to shoot the just the one. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <cute>. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So basically, when you turn it on, it's supposed to say uh, order up. You can't barely hear it because uh, my NXT is really quiet. Yeah. And no, uh, it's also my voice and. Yeah, so basically, uh, it's just... Broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I just broke our robot, everybody. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, so uh, we're fixing that. Um, well, if, if you want to come up close, you can see the menu. Does anybody want to actually order a drink? So, no Alright. <laughs> There's no drinks, because we don't want to spill. But, um, here, yeah. just get up and walk over here if you want to. I don't like choosing people. I'm bad at making decisions. So basically... <laughs> Anything but the four things. That would take some long time. So there's instructions right there. And she can choose... Yeah. Just <laughs> order. When she orders, right. right. <laughs> they all look like water. They all look like water. They are all water. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shot me with a can. Well, you know what? Can we get 